The following is a production of Learfield Sports. On Saturday afternoon, BYU came to town with a red-hot offense and a five-game winning streak. Badgers really slowed down one, stopped the other in a 27-17 victory against the Cougars in a very important non-conference game. We'll hear from several of the Badgers standouts from Saturday afternoon. Our senior salute will continue as well as we hear from Bo Allen and Tyler Dipple. We'll also focus on sophomore safety Michael Caputo and of course have our weekly chat with head coach Gary Anderson. It's all coming up on the Badger Sports Report. First and goal, Wisconsin. Lock the fullback, White the tailback. Here's James White off the left side. He is in. Touchdown, Wisconsin. James White gets it started for the Badgers on a four-yard run. Six-nothing, Wisconsin. Stavi in the shotgun. James White to his right. Stavi takes the snap. Looking to throw. Looking to his right. Looking. Gripping off to his right. Still looking. Sets. Throws. Caught. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Right there, I wasn't even supposed to go out on the route. I just heard the crowd yelling. It sounded like Joe was scrambling, so I was like, I might as well just leak out. Maybe he'll throw the ball to me. And right, right when I turned around, the ball was coming to me, so, so it just so happened to work out. Stavi will hand it to James White off the right side. He gets the first down and more to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown, James White. His third score of the day. Dill winds up, throws it deep to the right, and it's broken up by McAvoy, and this game is over in Madison. Badgers win by 10. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas. By Toyota. And by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Most people know my favorite sport, and my favorite color, and maybe my favorite song. What they probably don't know is that I had a serious medical condition that required very complicated surgery. So now, I have a favorite doctor too. They are the world-renowned pediatric surgical teams at the American Family Children's Hospital, innovators in the art and science of minimally invasive surgery. UW Health. Remarkable. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good-looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. Hey, give it back. Come back when you have a team. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Touch or tackle. Gather your team, the new seven-passenger Santa Fe. 
17 yard line. Shotgun snap the hill. Pressure coming. Down he goes. Beagle and Borland get to the quarterback as Hill is taken down near the 10 yard line of BYU. Lake block down to six as the snap occurs. Hand off James White, left side, 20, 25, cutting right 30. Leading to the 35 to the 40. And White works his way near the 45 yard line. Robertson Daniel on the stop as James White going right back to work. First down up to the Badgers, 44 yard line. Uh, we haven't been in, we've been in a couple of close games this year, but uh, not not in a little while. So uh, it's always important to play those tough games because you never know we're going to be in another tough game, and you know, you know how to react in those situations. Whenever we can do that, whenever we can, you know, sustain drives like that, keep our offense on the field, and you know, just keep the clock running, and then keep our defense off the field so they have an opportunity to rest. Um, you know, that's big for the team. When you think about, you know, obviously where the game was coming down the last quarter, we were up, you know, two scores. And we just basically had to keep them out of the end zone. And our offense had to milk the clock, you know. We could have been a little bit better on both sides of the ball in those situations. But at the end of the day, you know, half the team in college football is going to win today, half of them are going to lose. If you win, hey, you have to be happy with it. Personally, I like, you know, like games like Iowa, BYU. I like those kind of games, you know. It's just straightforward kind of just hard nosed football. But... It's good because um, this game sets us up for even bigger things. You know, each win we have, it sets us up to you know, move forward and whatever it is, the BCS or whatever you want to call it, to just get more games on our schedule. Yeah, I always say statements aren't made in the game, they're made over the course of the season. I think we're getting to making a statement. I, I think our statement is that we're going to fight. Uh, no matter what the situation is, no matter who lines up across them, we're going to fight. Do all the things that we're close to doing, we're going to be really tough. Local Subway restaurants are inviting students and families to take Coach Gary Anderson's health challenge. Stop by your local Subway and pick up official Coach Anderson tracking cards to help your family track healthy eating habits and physical activities. Subway, eat fresh. Back on the ball is BYU. Again, four wides. They're stacked on top of each other on either side of the formation. Shotgun formation, Hill back to throw. Badgers bringing some heat. The pass over the middle, picked off by McAvoy at the 50, to the 45, to the 40. And the former quarterback makes a man miss inside the 35 and out of bounds in BYU territory. Pressure on the quarterback and Tanner McAvoy, the junior college transfer who's been a quarterback, a receiver, and he has found a home at safety, gets a pick. Another very impressive performance for the Wisconsin Badgers in front of the home crowd at Camp Randall Stadium, 27-17 against BYU. This is only the second meeting all time between the schools and the first time around a current student, and it was well before a current student was born, but a, a big boy game. I mean, you know BYU better than most around these parts. Uh, you guys are really playing well right now, aren't yeah, they? They're, they're a good football team, and, you know, there was a lot of factors in the game. I thought the defense played well. The crowd was loud. Um, causes some issues for them a few times and uh, it was, this was a great team victory if you look at offense defense special teams all played a key role and it was great to, to have that happen for us you know I feel right now before watching the film that might be the most solid we've played offense defense special teams and you know we needed it so much talk about BYU's offense and how good it is but you always want to start fast and, and here we go again you can say that your, your guys get the kickoff and didn't mess around. It kind of set a tone there, didn't they? It did. It was nice to see him get down the field, and uh, it was it was a good physical drive to start it off with. I think they kind of you know uh, stuck their flag in the ground, if we will, and said, "Yep, we're here to we're going to run the ball, and you're going to have to stop us." And then BYU did bow up at times, and it went back and forth. But uh, that was a big drive. It's one thing, and we talked on the radio after the game. I can rattle off the statistics of James White: what he did rushing, what he did receiving. 
But as coaches, there's a lot more than that that you see, and, and you saw it again on Saturday with James, didn't you? Yep, James, is, his pass protection, his ability to catch the ball, there's some tremendous plays in there. The one play where he picks off the, the corner blitz and he comes out of his protection and comes on the backside and knocks the corner off. I mean, Joel's going to take one right in the back and the ball's up here, and you know what happens. Ball's probably out and fumbling, who knows. But instead, we get the ball down the field, have a huge play. And James, is he, he's playing, in my opinion, at a very high level. And he is a really good running back. You mentioned a team effort. And we talked before this game that there were going to be some pretty good linebackers on the field. Kyle yep. Van Noy from BYU and Chris Borland, 13 stops, two and a half TFLs for Chris. Uh, keeps backing up your claim. Yeah, <laughs> They're being yeah. the best linebacker in the country. Proved, proved he's pretty good again today. Yep, Chris's ability to come in. And, you know, it's a, the, the good thing is, is this team does a nice job of, you know, the guy goes down, whatever, but it's different when Chris is out there as far as his ability to make those plays. I think he carries himself with a little bit of an attitude um, that is contagious, if you will. And he, he made some big time plays today. And I don't know if they gave him credit for the one sack, but if the one isn't a sack, I don't know what a sack is. So we'll have to get that change for him. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, he and Beagle get involved. Yeah. For, for Vince, this meant a ton for very obvious reasons. Yeah. Fun to watch him get involved. Yeah, it is. It was an important game for him. And, uh, no question about it. He, he played at a high level. He was excited to get out there. Got a lot of reps. Got a little tired there at the end. And <laughs> so, but he uh, he played like crazy today. All right. You mentioned offense, defense, special teams. Uh, nothing like getting that first field goal. And actually, Jack Russell had a couple. Who knows what these final games are going to have in store? But. Get a little confidence going from a young kicker is never a bad thing. Yeah, it was good. It was good for Jack to get out and hit a couple of them. I thought his first extra point, he didn't hit it real clean, but you know what? He came off and I didn't say anything to him. He said, I got to get it up. Uh, and, and he did. You know, he changed it, got, it, got that ball, had a little bit better trajectory. But for him to be able to get that done, that's why I say offense, defense, special teams, because it's good to get out there, make a couple field goals, make the extra points. It just seemed cleaner. Final half minute here. It had been 28 days between home games. I know your guys were just chomping at the bit all week. Kind of nice to be back in familiar surroundings, isn't it? It was awesome. You know, again, the crowd was fantastic and a big part of it. But it was just, it was just, it was. You're right. It was fun to be back again. Uh, that's a long time to be away during the football season, and we're very happy that we get to be here again next week. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Badgers with three games left, two here at Camp Randall Stadium. A bit later, we'll hear from Badger safety Michael Caputo, who was a busy man on Saturday. He had 12 tackles. Coach Anderson will rejoin us in a few minutes with a great game question of the week as well. Stay with us. Honestly, the senior class, nothing really phases them. Everybody just, you know, takes it in stride, whether it's good or bad, whatever it is. So it's a big uh, strength of our team. We we know how to play with each other. We have a good feel for what each other does. You know, as one guy, you know, takes an inside move, somebody's covering him at the outside. It's just we play with each other for such a long time. We kind of know how to play with each other. Every season, we've had something, to, you know, to overcome. You know, whether it be last-second losses or anything like that, injuries, things like that. So I think that's just taught us over the years, just you know, never you never give up, just push and push and push and. You know, it obviously has taken us places. So I hope the young guys, just being able to be around that and see what it takes to get to a Rose Bowl and a Big Ten championship, they kind of, you know, realize that. I think just the Big Ten championships and the Rose Bowls are probably the ones that stick out to me. You know, it's just a big accomplishment. And it's something, you know, you can walk up in the offices and see the trophies. And it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's, you get a lot of pride seeing that stuff. Here's the snap. Back to throw. Miller looking. Pockets tight. Down he goes. Inside the 20-yard line. Tyler. Dippo. Playing high school in Wisconsin, you definitely wanted to play for the Badgers. You know, I had an offer from Stanford out in California, and it was kind of torn when I was making my decision. So, but yeah, I definitely think, you know, something about Wisconsin is just special in the state. So, uh, to be honest, I just want to improve every single day. Um, obviously, there's the, you know, goals as far as stats and things like that, but that's more in the, in the back of my mind. Really, I just want to, you know, work hard and just leave a legacy and win for the team. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. This is Andrew Zielsdorf. He plays hockey. This is leukemia. It's bad business. This is Andrew's oncology team. They love Andrew. 
they don't like leukemia. And thanks to them, Andrew is now cancer free. Booyah. They are the world renowned physicians, scientists, and nurses at the American Family Children's Hospital, pioneers in pediatric cancer care. UW Health, remarkable. Let's get in there and sell some cars. Hey, coach. Let's go. Let's go. It's a big day, guys. Let's get out there and compete all day long. Let's go. Toyota and Coach Anderson, big fans of each other. Start shopping now. Text SAVINGS to 69049 and get amazing deals on all your favorite models. Proud partner of Badger Athletics. Toyota, let's go places. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. MACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. There was a time before the season started when Coach Anderson and his staff wondered whether Michael Caputo would actually be healthy enough to play this season. Well, Caputo is answering that emphatically. Yes, he's healthy. He's playing at a high level. He had 12 stops in Saturday's win against BYU as this sophomore from Imperial, Pennsylvania, is putting together a very good year. The second week of October that I definitely realized there was something wrong. I just got started getting a lot of shooting pain through my spine and through my legs. And I didn't really say anything at first because it wasn't happening ever, all the time. But as soon as it started to pick up, it became more frequent. I eventually said something. It was during bowl prep. It was during the month of December where I told the trainers, I said, hey, there's something wrong and I know there's something wrong, um, but I'd like to get it checked out over break and I'd like to play in the bowl game. Figured, you know, I just got to get through the bowl game and then I'll I'll deal with it later. A week before the bowl game, it was like every time that I got even the slightest impact like around my head and shoulder area, it was kind of like a, like a jolt or like I kind of got a, a terrible pain on my back. It was the, the C5 and C6 in my neck. There was, uh, I just got the disc uh, dislodged and was pressing on my spinal cord, which was affecting my lower body. When we first arrived, I first had a chance to get here, right, we didn't know exactly what it was. It took you know, a little bit of time before we had all the information. Uh, it was uh, you know, a little bit of an awkward situation because you know, I didn't know Mike at all. My first phone conversation with him, we, you know, just a phone call after we you know, took the job and then we get the information you know, about the injury. Uh, you know, our, our trainers were outstanding and doctors uh, having everything diagnosed and having a plan for him, so I felt great about that. You know, one of my biggest concerns with him after getting to know him was how tough he was, and it's, it, 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 this had nothing to do with toughness with the injury. You know, our number one concern was his health and his safety and everything, and I know it's really noble sometimes that Mike didn't say anything for a while, but we sure don't want that. Two options, I could have got a, um basically a fake disc put in and that would have been a less time to recover but I went with the option just to gut it all just to, they took the disc out and they fused the vertebrae together so it essentially becomes the C5 and C6 become together uh, as one vertebrae and then there'll be no problems I guess. If uh, the doctor said you know if you don't feel right when it comes time for camp he said it's okay to just take you know Take your time with the recovery process because it's your life that's you know at stake here. It's not it's like the rest of your life's at stake, not just you know the next two years. Yeah, the number one thing we talked to him, you know, and, and, and talked to his uh, you know family and stuff after the surgery and everything. Everything was about just getting Mike healthy. We we didn't even go beyond football at all for a long time. Uh, you know, we were very excited when the word came back basically that he was going to be cleared and be able to play and, and do those things. So that was a big plus. Still had no idea what we had. Uh, in him until really we started because I didn't coach him all spring you know and then we kind of talked about being in different meetings maybe being an outside linebacker for us uh, came back to the safety position uh, opened up competition in, in the in the fall and he was not you know uh, with the ones when we started you know he clearly won the position hands down uh, just by by everything that he does and everything, everything about him so he won the job uh, going away and uh, ever since then it's just, it's just taken off and we really don't like having him off the field you know he plays a, a lot of multiple things for us and, and he's a great player you had to think at the time that you wouldn't have him There's, you couldn't prepare that you'd be like oh well he'll be fine he'll be here uh, you know it, it's a it's a you know in my mind it's a neck injury so you know you always have to plan for the worst 
and then had no idea what he did. Didn't really play the year before, so it wasn't like, well, we had a lot of film to build really evaluate on, so we just kind of went, went on about our business, you know, and then again, it was kind of a bonus uh, in the end. It's a great bonus for us, so we're very excited about that. I couldn't imagine right now where we'd be without him. I mean, we, you know, we, you, you, as you always do, you figure something out. That's part of the deal, and uh, as Coach Aaronson says, nothing phases us, but I don't want to be phased without him right now. I just didn't keep him. Playing football is great, but the experience is, is uh, something that, you know, it comes once in a lifetime thing. It'd be playing big time you know, football at a college level, and you know, it's just, uh, just what I went through. I really appreciate you know every, all the games that I started, all the times I played, every time I stepped on the field. So it makes you realize, puts you in a realization that you know yeah, I'm to appreciate it all. Obviously, uh, going out to California three years in a row was big. We had some great times out there, uh, you know, despite what happened in the games. But it's uh, it's kind of little things too, just like hanging out in the locker room and messing around before practice, and just kind of goofing off during practice, having fun. Uh, we played a prank on Coach Hammock today during practice, so that was one funny thing too. It's just funny stuff like that. It's kind of the little things that I feel like you're always going to remember and miss. We've got different guys. We've got vocal leaders, uh, kind of like myself and Dipple, I'd say and then some quieter guys like Patty Muldoon. So, you know, different, just different personalities that bring different things to the table. And I think it creates like a perfect blend of just kind of guys, just a group of guys that, you know, work well off each other and everything. Drops the throw, looking, pressured. Paul Allen gets to the quarterback. Down goes Simeon. Bo Allen with the sack for Wisconsin. It's, it's crazy, it's kind of sad. I uh, haven't really thought about it in the grand scheme of things, but. You know, only really got, what, six games left here, so just got to make sure to enjoy every every single second of it. Even, you know, it's freezing cold out here, kind of raining a little bit, practicing, but you got to love it because it's, next thing I know, it's going to be, you know, January, and I'm not going to have any more college football games left. So just got to make sure that, you know, during the tough times or whatever, just make sure I'm enjoying everything. Like I said, I got six games left. I don't want to have anything in the tank uh, when I'm done. It's pretty cliche. I'm just giving out cliche lines after cliche lines, but, because uh, you don't want to have any regrets when it's all done. So that's what I'm trying to do is just practice hard and make sure I don't have anything like, oh, I could have gone harder that play and could have done this or done that. I don't want to be able to say that. So another cliche line, but it's kind of ringing true. I guess the older you get, the more cliche you get. So <laughs> that's all I got there. Some schools use a sign to identify themselves. The chop, the fork, the O, hook em horns. But there is one sign every team wants to be identified with. Fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours, just buy another Hyundai. See what loyalty looks like at the loyalty report on the post game. Truth is, there are surgical procedures and medical treatments that only a handful of doctors can perform. Illness is so complex that only the preeminent hospitals in the world will take them on. These are those doctors, and this is their hospital. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals inside UW Health and the University of Wisconsin. UW Health. Remarkable. Wisconsin Cheese, making good food great.
The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas. By Toyota. And by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. This week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week comes from Dave in Milwaukee and obviously familiar with BYU's approach. Coach Dave wants to know that in the next few years, do you see even more teams trying to play fast on offense? Uh, football cycles. So that is the cycle right now. So I would say yes. I think it'll settle down eventually. You know, you watch our game today, and uh, the defense did a tremendous job of handling the pace. I also will say this. The, the officials are so much better than, than when this whole thing started. They're used to the transition. And, uh, but will more teams play fast? I would say yes. Uh, but I believe the dust will settle in the next couple of years, and it'll go back, you know, when uh, more traditional. So pretty soon, you know, 15 years from now, you'll probably mm -hmm. say everybody, well, you'd see everybody's running IBAX now. <laughs> so we'll <laughs> see. Right. Yep. yep, it's a good question, Dave. We thank you for your question. The Great Dane with four locations in Madison, downtown on the east side, Hilldale, as well as Fitchburg. Of course, the Fitchburg site is where Coach Anderson's radio show takes place on Thursdays throughout the season. And you probably know this by now, but if you don't, there's a Great Dane up in Wausau as well. Badgers stay home. Get back in the Big Ten Conference play this Saturday morning at 11 a.m. kick at Camp Randall Stadium as Wisconsin will host the Indiana Hoosiers. Join us next week as we recap that game and look ahead to the final road trip of the regular season to Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Big day, guys. Let's get out there and compete all day long. Let's go. Toyota and Coach Anderson, big fans of each other. Start shopping now. Text SAVINGS to 69049 and get amazing deals on all your favorite models. Proud partner of Badger Athletics. Toyota, let's go places. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics.